A new study by an online monitoring group finding that TikTok may push harmful content to its young users. Whit Johnson is here with the details. Good morning, Whit. Michael, good morning to you. Two out of three teenagers use TikTok for an average of 80 minutes per day. And this study reveals just how quickly they're bombarded with concerning content on things like eating disorders and self-harm. This morning, a new study suggesting that the wildly popular social media platform TikTok may push harmful content to young teens. The app's intuitive algorithm recommends posts on the For You page that may interest users based on the content they share and interact with. It's the speed and ferocity with which that algorithm is pushing addictive, dangerous content to children that really worried us. Researchers at the Center for Countering Digital Hate created accounts pretending to be 13-year-old girls in the U.S., U.K., Australia, and Canada. 13 is the minimum age requirement to be on the platform. What we found was really disturbing. Within minutes, it was sending self-harm and suicide content, eating disorder content within eight minutes. And every 39 seconds, our test accounts received some sort of harmful content. The study also finding that TikTok accounts set up with the phrase lose weight in their name receive significantly more recommendations for content promoting eating disorders like junkorexia, a slang term for people with anorexia who only eat junk food. TikTok pushing back, telling ABC News the study does not reflect genuine behavior or viewing experiences of real people. We regularly consult with health experts, remove violations of our policies, and provide access to supportive resources for anyone in need. Experts now urging parents to stay on top of how their kids are using social media. Your kid can do one random search and all of a sudden the algorithm thinks, well, this is what they're interested in. So we have to be aware of this and take a look at what our kids are being shown. Now, TikTok says their goal is to foster a safe and comfortable space for everyone, adding that the app also features people sharing their recovery journeys for education. But experts say this is another reminder that parents need to stay educated on what their kids are watching and experiencing online. And it's just, but for parents, it's just very difficult to keep up with all of this. I agree. It's really it's tough, funny. but at least you know it's out there now. Exactly. Yeah. All right, thanks so much, Whit. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.